Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. Okay, we're right where I left you off. We just set our SKU. Now let's look at setting pricing, your inventory, or what they call here your stock, and the weight of your product. So pricing, all you have to do is just click on this amount here, add in your price, and click out and you're good to go. If you would like to set one of your items on sale, click into this price again, and you'll see this sale price here in the middle. So let's say I wanted to go on sale for $12, set that price, Click this on sale circle here, and now your product is on sale. And that's as easy as that. To set your stock, if you actually have inventory and you are fulfilling these shirts or whatever on your own, I really recommend setting your inventory numbers because Squarespace will let you know when you're running low. And it will also mark your store as sold out if you happen to sell out of an item. So you don't have to manage those things on your own. The website will take care of that for you if you put in your stock. So let's say you have 12 of these t-shirts. You can put that in there. Or if you just want to always have t-shirts available to people, or if you're doing drop shipping, you can click this unlimited and there's no stock to, to count at that point. And now let's look at this weight section. It's not important to get the exact weight when you're putting it in there, at least the way that I show you how to set up shipping for this site but I use weight to calculate my shipping rates. So just as a general rule of thumb for t-shirts, I put in 1.5 pounds. And when we get to the shipping video, this will make more sense because of how I calculate the shipping rates and where I stick the 1.5 pounds in there. So if you're selling CDs, I recommend putting those at 0.7 pounds um, and pretty much anything else like t-shirts or vinyls whatever else, 1.5. And if you do have like a book or something heavier, maybe you drop that in at 2.5 or something heavier to hit you into that next weight class. But basically I just break down my shipping rates by pound. Um, so my breaking point is gonna be at one pound, two pound, three pound. So whatever you want your shipping rates to be, wherever you want your products to fall in those rates, just kind of drop in a, a pretend weight here. So that is it for this lesson. So we've got pricing, your stock, and the weight of your product. And get all that set, keep this open, and I will see you back here for the next video. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtheroad.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence.